What's up, guys? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. Back from vacation and having a beer. This is the Founders Rubius for beer. Did a video review of this oh, about six weeks ago or so. And I'll leave the link of that in the comment uh, in the description below, rather. But as I said, back from vacation with the family at the Jersey Shore. Got to check out a number of local beers from the Philadelphia and the southern New Jersey areas. Uh, some beers made by some friends of the family, as well as some stuff that doesn't get distribution to South Carolina. Most notably, uh, one of the small liquor stores down there has a wide selection from Firestone Walker, which we don't get here in South Carolina, but again, in that little, that little liquor store in the southern tip of New Jersey, they have uh, three or four or five different beers from Firestone Walker there. Last year, we checked out the Union Jack IPA and maybe one or two other things. This time I got a six pack of the their session IPA called Easy Jack, and that's a real nice citrusy uh, session IPA. Uh, some of the local breweries I got to check out. Uh, the biggest one was Yards from Philadelphia. Um, had a two two hits and a miss, I would say, from them. I think the miss was maybe a an issue with the bottle itself, but um, generally pretty good, pretty good drinking experiences with them. And a couple of one-offs each from uh, Tuckahoe Brewing Company and Demented Brewing Company, uh, both located in New Jersey. The uh, most notable thing I got to do beer-wise while I was on vacation was check out the Cape May Brewing Company for the third time. Um, they recently did a, a remodel of their uh, whole facility, the, the tasting room, some of the production area. And so it's a, a really nice space. They have a very, very nice kind of back patio as well. It's a really, really nice space. Um, this, was the, this was the third year we got to check them out. And I would just call them overall a really, really solid brewery. They're doing um, anywhere from 12 to 15 different beers that are on tap at the brewery at any given time. As well as they're also doing their own ginger ale and root beer. Uh, the, root, the root beer is really outstanding. The ginger ale has a lot of ginger to it. Uh, so if that's your thing, it's really great, but it can be a little a little too much bite for some people. But they're, again, for the, the volume of items they're doing, everything is really solid. A couple of things are really, really great. I would say their Cranberry Shandy, the seasonal summer Cranberry Shandy called The Bog is really terrific, as well as a, a fruity weed ale I had called Apple Bomb. Um, both of them are, are really, really terrific, along with everything else that uh, Kate May's doing. I'll be having written reviews for for Kate May and a, almost all these beers that I had. They'll be coming up on written reviews on PourTheReviewBeer.com over the next uh, couple weeks or so. Um, so that was the bulk of my beer experiences. Unfortunately, my second to last day, I found out about another local brewery that I hadn't heard of called Slack Tide. Um, so my last day on vacation, we went on a but it ended up being a little bit of a wild goose chase trying to track that beer down. Alas, we couldn't find any, but that'll be a uh, fun little place to check out for next year. And from what I heard from some of the, the locals, there's going to be a couple more breweries opening up over the next year. So next summer, we can definitely uh, check those out, my family and I, and see what those uh, breweries are doing. So those are my vacation beer experiences in a nutshell. As I said, I'll be writing all about all these beers over the next couple weeks. Um, in terms of video reviews, I just picked up before I left the, uh, the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp series. So I'm going to be spending the next couple weeks doing video reviews of all six of those beers. Hopefully I can uh, ideally knock out maybe three in a week. Might only be two. So for the next two to three weeks, you'll be checking out, we'll be checking out all six of those beers um, in that Beer Camp series. Uh, you can check out video and written reviews for over 200 different beers at PourTheReviewedBeer.com. You can also go there for beer news, beer commentary, and more. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. All those links will be in the description below, along with the review of the Founders Rubius, which is in a Kate May Brewing Company glass. Um, all those links will be in the description below. That does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.